my idea of Britain really well, began, this was my first encounter when I was a teenager, with the war requiem, like so many people. And as a teenager in Glasgow, the first performance of the war requiem in, in Scotland was a huge experience. And interesting because it wasn't in an opera house or a concert hall. It was in the great space, the Kelvin Hall, an exhibition centre. And that already, of course, moved the significance and the experience into a different realm. But hearing for the first time that music with those poems, the combination of both the First and Second World War, the Anglo-German relationship, but also, of course, with Vishnevskaya, uh, an engagement with the Cold War, the idea that uh, a work of music could be also a work of poetry, could also be about politics, past and present, about history, about now, and be in an exhibition centre was, uh, well, it sounds corny to say, but it was transformative. And uh, that's my first great memory of Britain. What, what, I, what I think was so interesting about the, my experience of the War Requiem, if you like, but also I think about Britain as a whole, was his rare capacity, I think, in that moment in the cultural world of Britain to be an entirely British voice uh, operating in a totally world context. Uh, he was engaging with the great themes of the world, the, both the everlasting themes of uh, innocence, guilt, corruption, love, whatever, but with such a, an entirely authentically British voice, British standpoint. And I think that was very unusual at the time and remains very unusual. I think a very, very rare quality.